Do you ever get this error? You try to install the Bamboo Network plugin and this pops up. Fail to install the plugin, please check whether it is blocked or has been deleted by antivirus software. Well, there are a few ways of solving this problem and sometimes the easy ones don't work. And there is a link to a guide which has some good suggestions, but not all of them work. So this is the Bamboo Lab wiki page for what happens when you fail to get the network plugin. And there are a few steps which may work straight away, so I recommend going through some of these. And personally, I don't know why this problem happens specifically with my home PC, whereas at work I've installed Bamboo Studio on multiple machines and I never have this problem. But just at home, I always have this problem no matter what version I install. And previously, I would go through just this step here and the problem for me was NVIDIA Broadcast because I do some recording and I'd use NVIDIA Broadcast for the sound recording, but I don't use NVIDIA Broadcast anymore because I've changed my graphics card. That's no longer working for me and I still have this problem. I recommend you try this first. So what you do is you go down to your task tray, you pop that open and right click on NVIDIA Broadcast or any of these ones, Teams, Agent or Skype and quit or exit and then try and run the network plugin installation again. And it might work. Otherwise, if you're still stuck like I am, you need to then go to the next step, which would be just to check if there's any antivirus blocking the software. That wasn't a problem for me either. So then I had to go to step five, which is to try and manually install the network plugin. And there's a little bit of a trick to this because it was slightly confusing. So let me guide you through how to do it. And this actually solved the problem for me. So what it says is you need to go to this link and you need to replace the Bamboo Studio version number that you have installed and replace the AABBCC in that URL. So you hear AABBCC. Of this AABBCC, it represents the first three version numbers of the Bamboo Studio that you have installed. So it has here, for instance, if the Bamboo Studio version is 01070350, the AABBCC would be 010703, which is the first three here. And so I'm on the latest version. I have the current version 2000150, and that's what I need the network plugin for. So what you'd do is you would copy this link, go to another blank page, paste that in, and then you need to replace that 02.00.01. And we don't need the 50, so you push that in. But there's a problem because in here it says we should get this string come up and we need to look for a zip file in that string, which here's the example here. But if you look at ours, there isn't any zip file string. There's just an exe. What happened is I didn't put the 00 at the end. So it might not be clear where it says you need to put in or replace the AABBCC with the version number and drop the last one, but you need to keep the 00 still in place. So as you can see here, AABBCC00, that's what you need to keep in. So if I go back here and I put in 00, you see the string's a bit longer this time because we can find the zip file, which is this. So what we can do is copy that zip file. You want all the way HTTPS, copy that. Just replace this, enter, and you can see it starts downloading. And this applies to any version. So for instance, I have another old version here, the previous one, which is so 01. 100276. And here we would put in the 011002 and then we drop the 76 and we just put 00. So 01. So let's go back here and we'll put it in this time. So we go 01.10.02 and we don't need the 76. We put in a 00. And there we go. So in this case, we would need this URL to download. But I am using the current version, so we're not going to use it in this case. We are downloading this one. Now, once you download that file, I've got it in my download folder and I'm just going to paste it in here. So this, you should have that zip file, which is our plugin files. We can extract that. We will have our extracted folder now. And these are the files we need to copy. So we can copy all those. And if we go back to the guide, it will tell us we need to now unzip the zip file, which we've done, and go to this folder, see users, uh, username, app data roaming bamboo studio plugins and extract the files into that folder this is of course on a windows system um, i'm not talking about mac here so obviously the c users your username is going to be whatever your computer name is so let's take a look at my case so if i open a new tab i can go to my c drive go to users 
my computer is drafted, so it's drafted, app data, which is here. And if you don't see app data, what you need to do, and so you need to go to options because this is a hidden folder and you need to go to view and there will be one saying hidden files and folders and you want to say show hidden files and folders and drives and you can click on that, click apply and okay. And then you should see the app data folder. So if you go into there, you go into roaming, you go into Bamboo Studio, plugins, and you may have some files in here. If you do, you can just delete them all. Whenever I do that, I can never delete this one. I'll show you what I mean. It always says just something about it being in use. It just doesn't work. So it doesn't matter though, just delete what you can. Go back to your extracted folder. We want to copy all these and then we can paste these in here. And of course it's got one in there, which is that one that we can't delete. So I'm just going to skip file because if I try and override it, it's just going to have an error anyway. Okay, so that is installed. If we go back, um, we need to first close Bamboo Studio. So we'll close that and reopen it. And you can see now there is no error. It's all manually installed. It's all working, ready to go. And now I can actually send prints to my printer because when you don't have this network plugin installed, it just won't let you send prints. So you need to have it in there. So I hope this video has been valuable to you. I hope it's solved your problem with if you're having this particular problem with the network plugin installation. If you found that value in the video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. And thanks for watching.